Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. So we are going to carry on where we left off the last episode. So we're here in Mehojed. We did a quest where we had to cure all the villagers or at least half the villagers. Um, so two further quests in here. We got this last will and testament. So take the will to the, the Sasson parish priest. And that was for a guy called Vincent. And then once we've done that, we'll jump straight into the main quest. Questions and answers. Right, here we are in Sasson town centre. And that must be the church that Father Fabian is in. we go father fabian hello father vincent of merhoyed sent me to you father vincent of merhoyed sent me to that's you. echoey isn't it what's the matter my son uh i brought you his last will i'm bringing vincent's last will and testament almighty father be merciful what happened master vincent has been taken seriously ill a disease has spread in merhoyed Yes, I did hear that people are sick in some village hereabouts. But we, we cured that. God in heaven. But Vincent is still alive? Yes. For now. Let us hope the good Lord will leave him here with us a while longer. Thank you for bringing it to me. If Vincent passes on, I'll see to his wishes. He shouldn't here, pass on. Take a few coins for your trouble. Thank you, Father. God be with you. 170 groschen, like it. So let's carry on the next quest, which is questions and answers. Right, the door is open now. Talk. Welcome back to the land of the living. Who are you? Um, okay, so Henry Sir Radzig's man. My name is Henry. And I'm investigating on behalf of Sir Radzig Kobala. Oh, I see. You'll have an easy job with me, boy. How so? Boy. I won't give you any problems. Okay, that's wise. That's sensible of you. I'm a sensible man. Only I'd like to get it over quick and not keep the Rate Executioner busy too long. If you catch my drift. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? I follow the coin, lad. We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Pribislavitz. He's dead now, he got Runt. And Runt got his money from the chief. And the chief had the coin minted. <laughs> the chief? Who's he? Who's the chief? The bandit leader. Bandit? If he heard you say that. He'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't Czech. Is he a foreigner? So he's a foreigner? German? Don't think so. For sure he ain't Czech. And he's got plenty of coin. I'd stake my neck on it. He's got noble blood in his veins. Judging by how he looks? More by the way he talks. Any man can dress up like nobility. But he spoke all la di da like a lord. <laughs> okay, so where can I find this chief? Where's that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyed. But he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. Okay, so this chief is in charge of everything? So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say. I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. How's that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to who. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Pribislav, it's big and small. Robber barons who had their own brigades calling them my lord and common footpads who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. Lots of squabbles, the occasional murder. Old cronies and old rivals were meeting. You know what I mean? I suppose so. It was one big muddle. The main thing was nobody asked questions. I didn't give a damn who the chief was or what he had in mind or whether he had one ball or two. 
All I was interested in was the, the coin. coin. Mm -hmm. So how did you know about Pri Pripislav? Pripislav? How did you know about Pripislavitz? Who took it's you Pripislavitz. A fellow by the name of Morcock. We met near Kuttenberg. I was robbing burghers who were fleeing the town from Sigismund's army. We got to talking and he told me about Pripislavitz. Okay, so why did you attack Mehojad? Why did you attack Merhoyed? The chief himself gave us the order. Uh, I reckon he wanted to show the local lords he was nowhere near finished. So he's planning more raids? The chief's always planning something. Primus Lovitz was only the start. Okay, so the counterfeit Groshen. So you knew the coin was counterfeit? Of course I did. I brought those Groshen to Primus Lovitz along with a few other things. Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? Like, where were they made? I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. We used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens, I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. So Menhart's waiting there? Might be. Might not. He could have heard what happened in Pribus Lovitz and decided not to show. Okay, so what else did you bring to the camp? You said you used to bring other things. What were they? Letters. Menhart would give them to me for the chief. This time I was taking an answer back to Menhart too. Have you still got that letter? Aye. The yokels round here ain't got much interest in correspondence, apparently. Give it to me then. I'd be delighted. Uh, what were the letters about? What were the letters about? If I knew how to read, I wouldn't be trusted to carry letters, would I? I took them from Menhart to the chief and back. And that's all. Okay, that's all. That's all I need to know for now. F for now? For the love of Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. I've already told you everything I know. That's up to Sir Radzig, or shall I just say you've cooperated? I'll put, a, I'll put a word in for you. I can't deny you've been cooperative. I'll do my best to see you get a quick end. Oh, so he's going to die anyway. Henry, I think old Straw's come for the brigand. Oh. Step back from that Eden, young fella. But, but you can't kill me. Not just like that. Shut the fuck up, you weasel. I keep it fucking shut. You don't even get a say. Calm down, Straw. He won't escape justice. After all, he's... Don't stand in my way, Malikar. Let Henry decide. He's the one who saved his life. Oh no, we can't. We got to do justice properly. Tell get the captain. Have we done that? Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. To Alwada, that Orson killed my boy. He won't leave Merai yet alive. I mean, to be honest with you, I'll probably act the same way as him. So it's not his fault, but he just needs to calm down a bit. I think. Um, I don't want to be aggressive with him. You don't want to be a murderer. No, I lost my family too. I understand, Straw, truly. I lost my parents. They were slain in front of my eyes until the day I die, I'll never forgive myself for doing nothing to save them. What of it? Oh. My parents are dead too. My father was kicked by a horse and took two weeks to die of it. But to outlive your own child, you don't know what you're talking about. That bastard is going nowhere. You don't want to be a murderer, I guess. Listen to me, Straw. That isn't going to help anyone. You're a decent man, not a killer. Think of your wife. Oh, where's the justice in that? My boy cut down on his youth. Didn't even have a chance to marry. And that cutthroat swine left walking the earth. Do you really want to defy your lords and masters? If I have to. That son of a whore deserves to swing. If you don't have the balls for it, step aside and leave it to me. Try I've it. got no time for your drunken babbling, Straw. That bandit is going with me, and if you try to stop me, you'll get hurt. Is that clear? Strong Fair. words for a stripling like you. Oh, we'll come on. fight for him, if that's the way you want it. We'll soon see who's left standing. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? You want to fight over this worthless Don't really bandit? want to fight, really. Ah, shit yourself, have you, boy? I might have known. Right, okay, go ahead and kill him. I, I'm not sure what else to do, really, on that. You know what? Go ahead and kill him. What the hell do I care? Good lad. 
Knew you'd see sense. What do you want to do? Wed him? Feed him, Charles! Oh dear, we don't see what happens. I weren't expecting this, were you? But that's your squeezy, eh? I can't hear you very well. What are you trying to say? Right, okay, fine. Let's go and see Radzig then. <laughs> Nothing we can do now about that is there. So, questions and answers. Go and report to Sir Radzig at the lookout point by Talmberg. Let's just do that. Right, here we are. Back at the, uh, the camp. Right, we can find Sir Radzig. Nice good view up here, mind, isn't it? Uh, Sir Radzig, where are you? Oh, here we are. Good to see you, lad. Sir Hanush told me you won his tourney. Yeah. Good job, Henry. Oh, we got another tourney to do as well. Is there something else I can do? Okay, let's, let's tell him about the events of Mehochet. I've returned from Mehochet, sir. How does it look then? I brought them help from the monastery. Brother Nicodemus and Yahanka from Skalitz. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. Well, at least what he's doing looks promising so far. Thank Christ. Some good news for a change. What about the captive? Did you question him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? I managed to question him just before the villagers came to take revenge. And one of the farmers lost his son during the raid and they wanted blood. What? Taking the law into their own hands? That's insurrection. Okay, I just could say that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too hard on them. I wouldn't be too hard on them, sir. Those folk went through hell. First the raid and then the sickness. I suppose you're right. They've paid the price for their sins already. Anyway, that's not important now. Tell me what you got out of that captive. He was transporting the false coins to Pribislavitz. He got them from some merchant called Menhart. I don't know him. Neither do I. But I know where the money's handed over. It's not far from Rovna, and this Menhart should be waiting there about now. Excellent, Henry. We mustn't let this opportunity slip through our fingers. You go there and put pressure on this Menhart to tell us what he knows. Don't go yet. There's something okay. I'd like to talk to you about. See you later. Oh. That's been a cutscene. You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. Promotion? At least not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. You're a godsend, lad. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. Sir. What is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. But long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. Tribulations spawn in life over and over again, and we must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? You can rely on me, sir. I think the acting on here in this game is so good. Good luck, son. <sighs> okay, so uh, oh, bit of a stutter there, right? Okay, so we done we done that. The quest completed. Questions and answers. We have done it. And then we got a new one called All That Glistered. So we go, I suppose we've got to see this guy. Go to the place where the counterfeit money is handed over. So I think we ought to do that really because it's like a follow on, a quick follow on from uh, this quest. Yeah, I mean, I often think games like this, especially this sort of game, should be made into a film. 
Um, right, let's have a look then. So, you have to go back. Go to the place where the counterfeit money is handed over. So, just north of Rovna. Should be up here somewhere, actually. Yeah, it's right here. I forgot what his name was. What's his name? Yeah. Oh, he's dead! Oh, good God, what a bloody mess. Guard. And another guard. Oh. Explore the crossroads. Objective completed. Follow the trail of blood. Oh. Uh, blood? Oh, I didn't see that blood. <laughs> Examine. Blood. Someone was wounded here. It looks like another person dragged him off. Maybe there'll be some tracks. Okay, so have a look then. So, goes up here. Oh, I've lost it. Oh no, footprints or something. Another clue. I must be going the right way. I reckon you are, Henry. I reckon you are, my lad. Blood. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. Right, there's a camp down here. I think we're going to get into some fisticuffs. Are we? Mm. Charcoal burners. Oh no, okay. Someone must have seen or heard something. Okay, should we ask these guys then? Hello, charcoal burners. Good day to you. Good day to you too. What happened at the crossroads? What happened at the crossroads? Huh? Is that it, huh? <laughs> Success. Um, well, we we should win on win him on everything. Don't lie to me. He just said, "Huh." Enough bullshit. I know you dragged somebody here, so tell me what happened. I don't know nothing, and I haven't seen nothing. If you want to know something about it, just ask Boya. I don't want nothing to do with it. Boya. Okay. Who is this Boya? Boya cracks the whip around here. You'll recognise him by his red cap. Thank you. Right, there's another camp here. Well, I just see somebody over there. Looks like he's got a red cap on. Yeah, this must be him. Boy, yeah. Boy, yeah. Boy, yeah. I am honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Oh. The ambush wagon. What do you know about Tommy. the wagon that's been ambushed at the crossroads? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Mm, really? Yes, you do. Yes. Don't bullshit me. Is that a problem? Do you think I'm scared of you? Which, I mean, to be honest, we'll win all of them again. You're what passes for bristle and gristle around here, are you? Possibly. So listen to me, you hero. If you don't want me to wipe that crooked grin off your face, you'll start talking. <laughs> Got it? Yeah, right. Because everyone knows charcoal burners are thieves and killers. Well, let me tell you, that's not at all what happened. I'll be glad to hear you out. Let's just get this straight. We... Didn't ambush anyone. And what were you doing at the crossroads then? We were just passing and we saw the wagon. So we took the sacks. Just the sacks? What about the trail of bloodstains leading to the camp? I, I was just getting to that. We also found one wounded man. What am I saying, wounded? Um, the fellow was hat like a martyr in some holy picture. He begged us to hide him away. So you have him here somewhere? Is he still alive? The fellow has quite a will to live. I'll give him that. Okay, so who ambushed the wagon? Do you know who ambushed that wagon? Not a clue. We came a long way after. Did he say anything? Did he tell you anything? He wasn't exactly talkative. His lungs are full of holes, so talking's a problem. This guy's a bit cheeky, isn't he? A bit sarcastic. I want to talk to him. Where is he? We've locked him away, in the shed. There. I want to talk to him. I don't know. He, he, he paid us. We're not to let anyone near him. We've been through that already. All right, all right. Just calm down. Here. I am calm. Take the key. Thanks. Farewell. Right, we got. Okay, thanks. Um. Okay, so A, which is this direction. This is the guy who who um. There's a counterfeit coins then in here, so unlock. Merc oh, it just says mercenary. Who are you? 
Shall I say I'm here to help you? Never mind that. I've come to help you. Oh, thank God. I thought I'd breathe my last here. Lucky for me, my guardian angel comes bursting through the door. I'm no angel, so you'll have to answer a few questions before you get my help. Ah, oh, well, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Who are you working for? The chief. Who is it you work for? Who did the wagon belong to? To Menhart. He's oh. some kind of merchant who hired me for protection. But that's all I know. Hmm. And where is this Menhart disappeared off to? No idea. I thought this I was Menhart. I after the attack. Only came to my senses once I got here. I don't even know where here is. Right, so who ambushed the wagon? Who ambushed that wagon? A knight. He's been following us for a while. And where did he go? I don't know. I got a beating and then I passed out. Okay, what was the wagon carrying? Do you know what you were carrying in that wagon? <coughs> I never asked men about that. <coughs> Surely it was counterfeit coin, wasn't it? Can I take a look at the wound? Can I see your wound? Are you a quack? Sort of. Hmm. That's a deep wound to the flank and you're still losing blood. You need to staunch it. Will you help me? Staunch it? I can try. I wonder what staunch is. It can't be, um, like, sewing it up. Unless maybe it's, like, burning it or something. Tell me about the knight. Tell me more about the knight. Right, is that a bit of a bug? Oh. Where's the coin? What? What coin? I will not repeat the question. I, I don't know about any coin. I swear. Ah! Ooh. Where are oh. those sacks you took from the wagon? Sacks? They're behind the shed. That's him. That's got to be that knight. Go on, Harry. Should we do it? Should we do it? Is that all? Did you take anything else? Uh-uh. Oh. Some guy with a moustache? Stop! Stop! Stop right there! You got a fight going on? Oh! Quick! Where's my horse? Catch the mystery knight. Come on, let's go. Well, I'm glad, glad I bought a new horse, actually. Yeah. Come on, then. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> Whoa. Ah, uh, there he is. Down that side, down there. Oh, goodness me. I'm in the river now. Where's he gone? Um. Oh, here he is. Should I bow him? Well, it's hard to see what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Right, let's go fight him. Oh. Come on, then, knight. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Whoa, he's doing that move, is he? I saw that move with the tawny. Had enough, boy. <laughs> well, we've only just started, haven't we? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, goodness, I'm not doing very well here. <laughs> God, this guy's <laughs> tough. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Headcracker. All right, okay. Um, let's just talk to him then. Well. Yeah, he was tough. <laughs> Who is that, Tyfe? It seems I have finally met my match. Who are you and why are you here? I want to know everything. Who you are, why you're here, and what you know about the ambushed wagon. You may call me Ulrich. I will tell you nothing more until you give me some assurances. Assurances? How about this? If you talk, I'll spare you. Do you expect me to believe that? I know full well how these stories end. I... 
I have been at the other end of the sword more times than you can count. I give you my word. <laughs> the word of a thief? Jesus. It is true what the preachers say. This world has gone quite mad. You had better kill me. I'm finished, anyway. Just as you are. Why am I done for? Why do you think I'm finished? He who lives by the sword dies by the sword. Once you take a weapon in your hand, your days are numbered. It is the same for every one of us. Not everyone. Every last one. Knight, mercenary or footpad. There are men who die peacefully in bed. Their wives and children at their sights. But not you or I. You will end your life in a ditch. Oh, nice. With your belly ripped. Very nice. I'm no Unlike criminal. Unlike you, I'm not a criminal. You believe that the forging of money is an honest trade? I've got nothing to do with that. I'm not a forger, I'm the one investigating them. What? What are you saying? I'm in the service of Sir Radzig Kobola, Governor of Scalitz and Royal Hetman. Then we have something in common. I also am here under orders from above. From oh. who? The chief. Who's the chief? Perhaps you might sheet that weapon so that we may talk eye to eye. If we do indeed have a common cause. Okay, get up. Stand up. It is true our meeting has not begun well. But if it is the truth that you are sent by Kobila, then we can assist each other. What do you mean? I found out many things, but there are still questions I cannot answer. And the last man who knew anything is now dead. Okay, so who died? What man was that? Mainhart, oh, right, a merchant okay. from Passau. Listen, I will explain everything to you. But first, I need you to do something for me. Oh, really? <laughs> you will introduce me to a certain person, and I will tell you everything I've learned. I'm no matchmaker. I don't think I could honestly recommend Reputation you lost. to any of the ladies I know. <laughs> your wit is as piercing as your blade. Fine, who is it? Master Tobias Feifa. If you truly serve Sir Radzik, then you must know him. I think I know who you mean. What do you want him for? I have here a written confession which tells how those forgeries are made. But I do not understand such technical matters. Master Pfeiffer, however... We'll definitely be able to make sense of it. And you'll give it to me, just like that. It seems I have little choice. This is the last lead I have. In the meantime, I will return to Sasso and see what I might learn there. Okay, so you got Ulrich's documents. So I give Ulrich's documents to Tobias Pfeiffer. Uh, shouldn't you go with me? Shouldn't you go with me to see Feyfar? No. I must remain in Sasau. I have some uh, loose ends that must be tied. Who are you, anyway? What's your name, anyway? I told you. I am Ulrich. Just Ulrich? It is enough. Because you look like a knight. They seldom have just one name. It is true. I have a horse, armor, a sword and a shield. But there are many ways to acquire such things these days. As I am sure you know. So you're not a knight? I am a trustworthy soldier in the service of a nobleman. That is all you need to know. With a cracking moustache. Um, I don't think I'll get more out of you. I'd like to know more, but I have a feeling you won't tell me. Your feeling is correct. Tell me what you know about the false coins. Do you know, Passau? No, what is it? A city in Bavaria. Passau is a city of trade. All the currencies in Christendom change hands there. I see. And that would include Prague Groschen? Some months ago, counterfeit Groschen were discovered to be circulating there. They are made from copper plated with silver. The puzzle of the man began to investigate and learned that a family of money changers was involved. They were bringing the forged coins in from Bohemia and sending back real ones. My liege lord is allied to the Passau Alderman, so they requested that he deal with the matter. 
And so he sent you? Yes. He needed a man that he could trust absolutely. And what about that wagon? What happened there exactly? I followed Menhard from Paso. I had reason to suspect a connection with Sasso. The wagon was carrying false coins. So they were transporting false Groschen on that wagon? Yes. On their way here, they brought real coin. Groschen, foreigns, francs and the like. But now, the sacks were full of counterfeits. What happened on that track? I ambushed them. I took down two. But that bastard man had cut the horses loose and rode away. What next? While I was chasing Manhart, those charcoal burners came and stole what they could. Before I could catch him, his horse threw him and he broke his neck. So we won't get anything out of him? Unfortunately not. Very well. I'll go and see Master Feyfar. Godspeed. I will wait in Sasso at the Wagoners Inn. Let's go see Feyfar then.